Watcher, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ian, this is the Essential Handyman. Today we're going to have another episode of What's in My Survey Kit. This is a series of videos where I give a little bit of help to um, maybe budding surveyors, trainee surveyors, just surveyors starting out on some of the best items of kit to keep in their survey kit. Today we're talking about the moisture meter. Commonly known in the UK, and I think it's a German company, so it's um, probably uh, in Germany as well, is uh, Protometer. They're typically the best ones. You can get some made by Fleur. I use Protometer. The first one I ever bought uh, is this one here. It is the Protometer Mini. I've had this maybe, oh, 15 years. It was about £120 when I bought it. It's still going strong. I get it calibrated every year or so, and that's really simple to do. Uh, very, very simple bit of kit. Doesn't tell you a lot, but it's very helpful aid in the uh, hands of an experienced surveyor. The other one I use, let me just grab it here, is the MMS2. It's a bigger, more expensive bit of kit. Um, you get various iterations of it. This ranges in price from a simple bit of kit from about five, six hundred pound up to sort of fifteen hundred pound, depending on what bits of kit you want to add to it. This is a much more complex bit of kit. I'll start off with a simple one the uh, Postmeter Mini, Mini. All it has is two prongs, so it, it's a contact probe. It measures in WME, which is wood moisture equivalent. So it's only intended for use on wood. However, it can be used on timber, um, um, plaster, stuff like that. But with uh, the caveat that you may get a false positive using this, but you'll never get a, never get a false negative. I'm not gonna go too much into these. Maybe I'll do a video describing how to use these properly in a later video, but I'm just giving you an overview of the kit at the moment. So this is a really useful bit of kit, and I use this as a secondary survey uh, moisture meter when I'm using the MMS-2. The MMS-2 is a far more involved, complicated bit of kit. It can tell you room temperature, room humidity, building material moisture, surface moisture, surface temperature. It has a high grow stick on the back. Uh, that can tell you your relative humidity, chance of um, condensation, the condensation risk. It can tell you your dew point when there's a risk of going and uh, obtaining condensation. Uh, this measures in um, something called MC, which is moisture content, and that's the content of wood. This measures in WME. So this is this, this will both measure in WME. That's materials other than wood. See what I'm saying? I'm not going to go too much into this because it'll blow the brains of the <laughs> those that don't know what they're doing. Um, so, so this also has pins at the top. You can use these. I don't find these as accurate as the ones in the moisture in the uh, Protometer Mini. I find this much more accurate. This measures in a sliding scale of purely six to hundred going through yellow, green, red, sorry, green, red, yellow. This measures in risk, dry and wet. Uh, and the grade is from zero to 999. Um, so it can be more confusing. Uh, this bit of kit has, I might move this off. Got a built-in laser in there. So careful of your eyes, uh, surface temperature probes, uh, infrared in the same section. As I say, it's got a hygrometer. This bulb at the back measures moisture. Inf uh, you, you, put it, you can put it on the floor or you can put it on a wall and it will tell you the moisture within the material rather than using the probes on this, which tells you the moisture on the surface of the material. So this is really good. Say if you've just, you've got a floor layer that's just laid a concrete floor and you want to know that the moisture content is, has gone down enough so that you can lay say a non-slip vinyl flooring down and it's not gonna create 
damp issues around the perimeter of the room because it's still too wet. Obviously, if the, if the floor's still too wet, moisture's got to escape somewhere. Can't escape through a nice vinyl floor because they're normally non blue breathable. I go down, so it'll come out the sides and it'll make the walls all wet, and then you'll get damp problems there. So this is really good for a bit of kit like that. Um, you can see whether or not you've got interstitial condensation within the wall. Um, you can, with this, so you, you have something in, in some angle, a damp cement called hygroscopic salts, which are salts that come out through the surface of the plaster. With this, if you use um, distilled water and a filter paper and you perform a certain test, you can tell whether or not this you've got hygroscopic salts uh it's probably going a bit too involved for this for this survey for this for this video as i say um i'll print i'll wrap it up there so you've got two bits of kit this one's very old very good um but be careful when you get a, a building survey or a damp survey more damp survey really quite often used in by the hands of the um of those who may have a vested interest in perhaps finding works that may not be necessary so you get some unscrupulous bugger stick it in the wall find some hygroscopic salts and say oh this is really high there's a wasp yeah a wasp uh, all you got really high damp you need to have all your plaster packed off thousands of thousands of pounds so if you see anyone sticking this in the walls and using it as the only method of telling you you've got damp go and get a different survey because it's not meant for walls, it's meant for plaster. But as I say, it's, it's a... I use these because they can give me a false positive. I know that if I stick it in a wall and it tells me it's wet, I take it with a grain of salt. However, if I stick it in a wall and it says it's not wet, I know it's accurate. So it will give me a false positive, but it can give me a false positive, but it will never give me a false negative. So I use that in conjunction with this to see what's going on behind the wall, risk of temperature, dew point, etc etc but 150 pound these days 600 pound uh, so not cheap bits of kit oh and this is also very good for um it's expensive way of doing it. you can get much cheaper ones this tells you about 10 different species of wood and it gives you the moisture content so if you're waiting for your timbers to dry out to a level where you can work on them and you're not going to get shrinkage and splitting and etc etc on a finished bit of furniture this is pretty good, but there are much, much cheaper versions of, uh, I think they do one called a Timber Master Rotimeter, which is a lot cheaper and it will give you much, much more versions of timber. Okay, bit of a waffly video, not your standard handyman, tips and tricks how to stop your cooker from clicking, clicking, uh, but still useful video for someone, hopefully. Thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.